ஹாய் வெல்கம் டு சுனில் மேத்ஸ் டியூட்டோரியல் ஃபங்க்ஷனல் அனாலிசிஸ் கிளாஸ் நம்பர் செவன்டீன் இன் திஸ் வீடியோ வி லேர்ன் சம் பேசிக் டெஃபினிஷன்ஸ் அண்ட் சம் நொட்டேஷன்ஸ் லெட்டஸ் சி வி நோ தட் கேபிட்டல் ஆர் அண்ட் கேபிட்டல் சி மீன்ஸ் த செட் ஆஃப் ரியல் நம்பர்ஸ் அண்ட் த செட் ஆஃப் காம்ப்ளெக்ஸ் நம்பர்ஸ் ஆர் த சிம்பிளஸ்ட் ஆர் த சிம்பிளஸ்ட் ஆஃப் ஆல் த நார்மல் லீனியர் ஸ்பேசஸ் so the set of real numbers and the set of complex numbers are the simplest to normal linear spaces if capital n is a arbitrary if capital n is a is an arbitrary normal linear space we can form we can form the set of we can form the set of all continuous linear transformations of capital n into capital r or into capital c i mean i mean the set of all linear transformations capital t either t maps n into r this is one set on um, one more set t maps capital n into c one is the set of real numbers the second one is set of complex numbers so the set of all continuous linear transformations of capital n into r or capital n into c we denote the set of all these continuous all these continuous linear transformations by script b of n comma r or script b of n comma c see this one is denoted by script b of n comma r it means and this one is script b of n comma c what it means what it means set of set of all continuous set of all continuous linear transformations from capital n into r from capital n into r this is also same but the co domain is c complex numbers so remember the notations script b of r is the set of all continuous linear transformations defined from a de- defined from a normed linear space into the set of real numbers and the script b of n comma c is the set of all continuous linear transformations defined from normed linear space into the set of complex numbers capital c simply simply it is denoted by n star this set is denoted by these two sets are denoted by n star and it is called the wording this is important conjugate space of n conjugate space of n i mean n star is the what it means what it means capital n star is the capital n star is the set of set of all continuous all continuous linear transformations from capital n into r or from capital n into c according to the field either r or c and this one is known as conjugate space of n this one is known as conjugate space of n also the elements of n star are called linear functionals the elements of n star are called linear functionals or more briefly simply functionals the elements of n star elements of n star are called linear functionals they are simply called functionals right and then we say that n star n star is called the conjugate space of n n star is called the conjugate space of n remember that n star is called the conjugate space of n and is itself a li- linear normed linear space remember that n star is also normed linear space right next continue this one it is possible to form it is possible to form the conjugate space n star whole star n star whole star of capital n star it means n star is a conjugate space of n n double star is conjugate space of n star that's it we denote this space by n double star so n double star is known as second conjugate space of n n double star is known as second conjugate space of capital n second conjugate space of capital n and n star is known, known as conjugate space or first conjugate space of capital n next we see the definition isometric isomorphism isometric isomorphism let capital n and n dash 
capital N and N dash be to normal linear spaces. A linear transformation capital T that maps N into N dash is called isometric isomorphism. Is called isometric isomorphism if it satisfies two conditions. One capital T is a one one mapping and norm T of X is equals to norm X for all X belongs to capital N. I repeat the definition you observe that capital N and N dash capital N and N dash are two not two normed linear spaces capital T is a linear transformation from N into N dash this linear transformation T is called isometric isomorphism if it satisfies two conditions first one T is 1 1 and second one norm T of X is equals to norm X for all X belongs to capital N further Further, if capital T is on 2, in addition to these two properties, in addition to these two properties, if T is on 2, if T is on 2, then we say that capital N is isometrically isomorphic. Then capital N is isometrically isomorphic or simply, simply congruent. Either isometrically isomorphic or congruent to the linear space N dash. So, right. Next, we go for next definition. Let capital N be a normal linear space and T be an operator. T is an operator means capital T is continuous linear transformation on capital N. It means, it means capital T maps N into N is a linear transformation. That's it. Capital T maps N into N is a linear transformation, which is also continuous, which is also continuous. Now, we will define a another linear transformation n star, t star on n star. So, here you observe that the t is defined over t is defined over n and t star is defined over n star into n star. Then this mapping is known as conjugate of t. This mapping is known as conjugate of t. t star is known as conjugate of t. So, T defined over capital N and T star is defined over N star, conjugate space N star. That's why we say that T star is conjugate of capital T. In the next video, in the next video, we learn natural embedding theorem. In the next video, we learn natural embedding, natural embedding theorem. In the next video, we will end this theorem, natural embedding theorem, which is very, very important. So, keep learning. Wish you all the best.